Hi everyone, good to see you again. I've decided to make another little video. I'm not sure whether it'll be just one or more than one. I was in Christchurch in the South Island of New Zealand last week and I received something from the Lord that um, I think is really for our time and our situation. And I want to sum it up in these words. Creation, new creation, creativity and co-creating with God. That is creation, new creation, creativity and co-creating with God. I want to just start off reading in Genesis 1 and the first, the first verses of the first chapter of Genesis. In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was over the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. You know, this is, um, this is the uh, principle of creation. This is how creation works. It's new creation and works in the same way as the original creation. New creation, all creation works with the Spirit of God hovering and vibrating over chaos. When it says that the earth was without form and void, it is the Hebrew word uh, tohu wabohu, which means uh, chaos, darkness, and the Spirit of God um, hovers and moves and vibrates over that. I want to say to you that if your life feels like chaos and darkness, if it feels like confusion, uh, you're in exactly the right place for the Spirit of God to bring forth creation. All new creation comes out of the place of chaos, darkness and confusion. And it says here in verse 2 that the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. And again that word um, hovering, I don't know what it is in other versions, but in this version I'm using it as the word to hover. It actually is... Um, only used the Hebrew word is only used one other place in the entire Old Testament and it is the word the same word for the contractions um, when a mother is giving birth to her children to children it is that movement that pulsating contracting vibrating if you like and that's well that is what is happening when the Spirit of God is hovering over this place of confusion it's the same concept, the same reality as when the Holy Spirit overshadowed the Virgin Mary, when Jesus was conceived in the Virgin's womb, conceived of the Father, the Holy Spirit came and overshadowed her. He was bringing forth a, um, something uh, in the womb of the Virgin and he hovered over her. And the other connotation in the Old Testament that is used for this word of hovering or vibrating is when a mother eagle is flaps her wings when she's feeding her young. When the mother eagle is over her young feeding them with uh, things that she has caught she she creates a down draft by flapping her wings and this is the same sense of the Spirit of God hovering and vibrating over this face of confusion over this form over this formlessness and this void and this confusion um, and this darkness and so I, I want to encourage you that um, what do you think disqualifies you for the Spirit of God moving in your life is actually qualifying you um, if you are in a place where you have no clarity, or even when your life appears to be shaken, appears to be moving around, uh, the Spirit of God is vibrating over that to bring forth new creation, to bring forth something that is of God. Our God is a God of death and resurrection. Wherever there is um, darkness and death, what comes forth is light and resurrection. And then it says here in uh, verse 3, it says, And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. You see, God is not there to sort of give you formula or principles of what to do. He's not there to say what's right and what's wrong. Uh, God is there to say into your situation of confusion and darkness, Let there be light. 
And so this morning, I just speak into your heart a peace in the midst of the storm. I speak into the darkness, let there be light. I speak hope to you that the Spirit of God is um, hovering and vibrating over you. Uh, so that's the first little thing that I want to say in this little, again, a little mini series about uh, creation, new creation, creativity, and co creating with God. And I'll come back again to finish this off with some more videos. I'll see you soon.